and welcome back to Broken Age. We are back with Vela on the ship, which is lagging. There we go. Okay, it's better now. And my mouse cursor is in the middle again. Well, hopefully that will change. Anyway, um, let me just review our inventory, because I've been noticing that the inventory, you really have to pay attention to what you have and what you could use it on. Um, and something that I've, I've, I've already looked this up, just to kind of get a little bit of a head start here. But only this, nothing more. Apparently the next thing you're supposed to do is use your cloud shoes on the ice cream. And I actually thought of this, but I didn't... It, that was silly. I You really do have to try everything here, it seems like. Okay, so... Let's get out of the room. Game, come on. Psst. Come on, there you go. And my cursor is back to normal. Hey, it's Hexagal! Alright, we got Hexapal and Hexagal. It's pretty nifty. Can we not go? Okay, we can. I guess the guy just has a sad face. Wait a minute, did we not turn that on earlier when we were changing all the... the little faces back to blue? Huh, okay. Well, let's go through here, I think. I'm trying to remember which door leads where. It's one of these. I know it's one of these doors. This is a transporter. I guess we could go through there and just go to the east passageway and then we can get to ice cream from there, but I think this works too, doesn't it? Yeah, I think this works because this is the door we came through earlier when we were walking through the passageway to begin with. Here we go. Yeah, these guys have smiley faces because we changed them, so I guess they do remain smiley. Okay, so... I don't know what it is we're supposed to be getting up there in the first place, but let's just try this out. Maybe these guys? Do we just have to drag the shoes onto her? The only thing this trigger Oops. is good for is firing Alex's death ray. If nothing else, they'll keep my feet warm in here. Really? That's the logic is there for keeping your feet warm? I guess that makes sense, but considering that she is barefoot without them. My friends in Mariloff can see me now. <laughs> Still, the idea of wearing cloud shoes on ice cream just feels odd. You sure that stuff is cold enough to freeze you? Oh yeah, it's made of some really advanced chemical compounds. What we're doing is probably much safer than eating it. Sure. Okay, so what's the point of going up here? Uh. Okay, so ultimately we're trying to get to the bomb, is it? Wait a minute, let's show them this. Too soon, too soon. Oh, <laughs> good point. Um, this? Hey, could you give me some ice cream in my bowl? Uh, that truck is self-serve. Yeah, and we don't want to do anything that might thaw out our muscles. <gasps> oh, whoa, 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 right, 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 right. Because we need ice cream to transport the fusion thingy out of the... F yeah, right, we need the cold stuff. Oh, we don't have the spoon. Shay's got the spoon. Uh, I don't think... Filling this bowl with yarn will make anything useful. Oh, man. You guys need a fork to help shovel that stuff? No, we prefer hand-packed. Alright, what about knives? Come on, knife, you, you want to cut some stuff, right? They only want to check out temporarily, not permanently. Okay. So we cannot select the ice cream only. Let's try that. Seems like this is all one giant thing to interact with. That's not a good ice cream serving utensil. Depends where you're trying to deliver the ice cream. Can we just scoop it up? Why yes, I will have some ice cream. Thank you. Oh, okay. It was that easy. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. So it actually is ice cream. Oh man. Aww. That whipped cream sludge ate my cloud shoes. Sorry, Carl. Aww. That's a bummer. I want the cloud shoes back. Can we just go digging in the whipped cream for them? Also, nice aurora effect there. 
Even if it is kind of an unintentional thing with the ship being all damaged. Okay, so now I think what we can do at this point is go back inside the fusion area, which is through the transporter room, Nexus place, and then we could pick up the fusion orb with the ice cream bowl. Right? Makes sense. Also, I guess you can kind of logically figure out this is where the Nexus is because it has the triangle symbol on the door. And I think every one of these, yeah, every one of these has a triangle symbol on it, so that makes sense. Howdy. Hi. Did someone say they wanted to check out the fusion or containment facility? Yes. Please. It's so nice to de-res new people. Yeah, we're not exactly new at this point. Also, it's May 10th as I'm recording this, so happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. While we're on the ship here with Mom, I guess I, I guess that's kind of appropriate, right? I actually had my Mother's Day dinner yesterday instead of today. Because we were all worried about people being out and about in crowded places to eat today. Okay, try this out. I wonder if this cold bowl would keep that thing from overheating. Yeah, that works great. Attention, do not remove fusion ore from refrigerated pedestal. Omicron fission event will occur. Uh. Not until my super advanced ice cream melts, it won't. And when the ice cream finally melts, something tells me we'll have a nice little explosion on our hands. Speaking of, I should probably get this thing off the ship. I wonder if this is timed. I hope it's not. So let's go back to Mom and see if we can talk to her about this. Have we established what Mom's name is? Because I think she's just been known as Mom, right? Hey there. Oh, it's Hope. It's Hope. Oh, That's right. Back to the next Hope. I, I, I need to start calling her Hope because she's not really Vela's mother. So if, if uh, Shay's mom's name is Hope, then what's Shay's dad's name? Huh. I'm going to see if he mentions that at some point. Okay. So, Ma, or Hope, you got some stuff that can help us out here with the bomb thing? Because we ultimately need to make the bomb and then throw the bomb and then... Uh, what was the other thing? We need to fly the ship out or something like that. We need to gain access to Merrick's area where the control stuff is. Or Merrick High, because Merrick is just... A really silly alias since it sounds just like his real name. Check out my bomb. Is that... Is that our fusion orb? Yep. Do you know how dangerous that is? What? Is it radioactive or something? No. Well, we told Shay it was, so he would stop playing. But it is highly unstable at room temperature. I guess that's why I packed it in ice. Yes, but when that ice melts, it will probably... Blow up? That's great. <gasps> Don't worry. I'll dump it off the ship. Way before that. As long as you have a plan... So how do we dump it off the ship? That's the question I, we need to ask ourselves. Any ideas yet? No. Sorry. Want to hear how the plan is coming along? Okay. I made a bomb. But... I still need to find a way to get it off the ship. And... I still haven't figured out a way to drive the ship out of here. So we're getting there. As long as you have a plan. Come on, Hope, you gotta help us out too. Why can't you get out of this room? I mean, haven't you been stuck here for like all eternity, pretty much? Okay. We don't really have many inventory items left, do we? How can we dump this thing? Ugh. Is there anything in Shay's bedroom that can help us here? We already picked up the decoy and used it in the hexagal puzzle. 
So maybe we need to go down to Mirakai's area again? Hmm. I like how she's all sneaky. That's the switch he used to unlock that door over there. Back when he was fake trapped. I can't get to it while he's over there. Yeah. Looks like some sort of video game. Ah. Uh, you know, I gotta wonder, like, how advanced is Vela's world? Looks like some kind can't get any closer while Cadaver Face is around. Because they mention like license plates and now video games and I don't know, it's interesting. How about if we do this? This pile of yarn won't do much good there. This pile of yarn won't do much good there. <sighs> this has gotta be important somehow. I don't wanna cut that. Only because you haven't tried. <laughs> well, we're not a murderer. I don't wanna blow up anything that close to me. Good point. Um, so what is something that connects the ship with the out... The airlock! Wait a minute, the airlock. I wonder if somehow we can engage the airlock. I don't know, let's let's just see. Hmm. Hey guys. Um, let's go through here. <gasps> wait a minute, wait, 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 The yarn, the, the space weaver, I bet this yarn has to do with him, right? Right? Okay, let's, let's see, let's see what we got here. This is the way, yes, it is, okay. Can we use some yarn on you? You like yarn, right, buddy? Hey, do you need some yarn? Did someone ask if I need yarn? Yes! Yes, I do. Thank you. What is that tangled mess? It looks like it was coughed up by a giant cat. The space weaver prefers well-wound spools of yarn. Ideally served upon a fresh spindle to replace his own. <sighs> Service on this ship has really gone downhill. Picky, picky, picky. System forbidding. Uh, oh, that's right. We already went down here, didn't we? What's hmm. this? I get the feeling something is supposed to go in this area here, but it's missing. This pile of yarn won't do much good there. So what can we do to straighten the yarn out? That's probably gonna have to be yet another puzzle. Huge. Looks like there's a bunch of debris in there. Oh right. Through. Okay, that's right. We cannot get through there. By the way, is it just me or does the yarn, the space we were kind of sound like David Tennant's? But without the without the Scottish accent and all that, but he kind of sounds like David Tennant. I'm just at a loss for how we're supposed to get the bomb off the ship. I'm just gonna look around, and then if I can't figure it out, I'll look up the solution. Okay. Um, where were we trying to go? Oh right, the airlock place. Okay, let's go this way because that leads into the starboard passageway. <laughs> She's all chipper. And that's pretty close to the airlock, right? Oh wait, there's this trash thing here. The trash thingy. Banned for life. All right. Here we go. That would be a great way to get it off the ship, I think. But it's locked tight. Okay, it's locked tight. What can we do about that? Can you cut open with a knife? He's a pain, but I don't want to throw him away. No, that's not what yes. I had in mind. Thanks. You need a kid. Warning. Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship. Hmm. Jettisoned off this ship, you say? Very interesting. Yeah, I guess that's supposed to be your clue to that. I, I do appreciate the fact that there are clues to what you're supposed to do, if you look that carefully enough. I just want to make sure that there's nothing we can do over here. Now, is, can we interact with anything here? Because she's just going to comment and say that we can't do anything there, right? Hmm. Doesn't seem 
seem to be any way back up there. Nope. But, you know, that's okay. I like having my feet on the ground. Okay, so... <coughs> the issue is that this thing is long. Maybe the solution to this is to go back and use the computer helmet thingy hey in that Hope's room. Let's try that. I always like how these transporters just treat Velo like, Oh no, I hope this works! Really reassuring on the safety side of things. Okay, so over here, let's go through this way. Can we just skip the walking? No, we can't. I think we can a little bit, but not all the way. Alright, so let's see if we can unlock the trash chute from in here. Use our trusty, dusty helmet. <laughs> like how the little antennae thing there on Vela's hair just kind of get bent a little bit there. Alright, so everything is business as usual in that room. Okay, um... So we're ultimately trying to get over to the starboard passageway. Which is over here. <gasps> oh, hang on, I just thought of something. I wonder if... Because in the, the train thing... Was it the train thing that we're banned for life from? I think it is. You had that part where that yarn pal stretches out. I wonder if that's how you can do this this yarn thing. Stretch it out a little bit, but we can't go back there. And then think that's just for the hexagal. Hey, why can't I unlock this thing? Must be a different system or something. What a rip. Aw, really? Also, there is a really strange barking of the dog nearby my window. It's like, it sounds like a really weird bark. Alright, so I'm gonna look up the answer here. Um, okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, remember the cleaning robot that we saw earlier? Okay. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go over to the, um... Um, the kitchen and create a mess, basically. And then the cleaning robot will come through. But, you want to make sure you trap the robot. So what you have to do is you have to move that obstacle in the near the starboard passageway back to where it was originally. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. So we go back over here, right? And remember when we first got onto the ship, when Vela was first on the ship, we had to move that little whatever it was out of the way. There was like this big beam or something. And so we, we pushed it out of the way, but apparently we can push it back, which is interesting. So, let's move this. Yeah, better put this back to cover my tracks. I guess that could be a rather interesting reason to do it, but that's for blocking the robot. Okay, so now we go back to the kitchen. I'm not sure how this is going to play out, but let's see. Because remember, t um, Taco Pill Tuesday is the, uh... oh wait a minute, hang on, not not actually in here, but we need to actually use the, the helmet to do this, because we can't change the screen in there, but yeah, Taco Pill Tuesday and the Good Morning Shay messages are the only ones that actually dispense things or do something along with them. Alright, so use the helmet. Still can't get over the antennae just being bent. 
It's just little things like that that make the game so good. Alright, so we'll go into here. Alright, so now let's do this. No, not, not that, but this one. Here we go. Okay, so... Oh. We have to... Hang on. Stop right there. Okay, so I guess we can grab the cereal ourselves. Okay, let's, let's try that. Soylent Dreams. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, wow. I never noticed that. <laughs> then she has a shaker here. I like Vela. Out of the two characters, I think Vela is my favorite. Like, she's such a go-getter. Shane's just kind of like, meh. But Vela is like, yeah. I, I do like the contrast, though. That is very much appreciated. Okay, so we can grab the cereal, right? Oh, whoops. I left that hanging out. Go back in, yarn arm. There you go. Oh, sorry. I was going to clean that up. I promise. Okay, so I think now what we can do is go to the chute, follow this guy, but he's going to have to come up against the obstacle, and maybe that will slow him down, which is why we're doing that. Let's see. He's going to go that way, but I'm going to take the Nexus here. Okay, so the, f the right door is the one that goes to the passageway. Who wants to go to the starboard passage? Okay, let's skip that. Okay. Come on, robot. Ooh, here she comes. Go in there. Gotcha. Wow. Hey! Nothing but dirty floor cereal for my troubles. Well, All right. she left the chute open. She did, which will allow us to deposit the bomb. Really looking forward to eating this ice cream, but it looks like that's not going to happen now. Bombs away! You better hope that that stuff just stays compact. Holy smokes! I just dropped a bomb! I'd better get us out of here before that ice cream melts. Alright, I hope that that's not timed. Okay, so let's go ahead and just stop the video here, and then in the next one, we'll figure out how to get the ship out of here. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and our time together today. Until next time, I will catch you on the flip side.